Worldwide Warrior. Season 1, Origins. Episode 1, The Warrior of California. Poem 1, Heritage of the Warrior. Once in Jamaica. Many moons ago. A boy named Simeon was born to his parents. The silversmiths, Tallulah and Joe. And when Simeon became a man. He worked hard and pushed his might. And one day made it into college. To learn and to become bright. Simeon took to history. At his university. And soon he majored in a unique field. Archaeology. His mind would fill with fantastic tales. Folklore, legend, and myth. And he was determined to learn more about. The things that made man tick. When Simeon graduated. He was sent to see. The ruins in the Arizona Reservation. Known as Fort Apache. When he arrived in Arizona. He met the family that. He'd be staying with for quite a while. And they took him into their flat. The family was very kind to him. Though he'd come from so very far. And the patriarch of this Apache family. Was a man named Itsa Chu Star. Itsa Chu had a wife and two children. One was already a man. Itsa Chu prized his family like gold. Like diamonds he valued his clan. His wife was named Salali. And she was Cherokee. Her son was strong and very brave. And his name was Nahari. Then Itsa Chu's daughter. Whose age was only 13. Rayan was her given name. And she had skin like a coffee bean. For two months Simeon stayed in their home and Rayan cared for him well. She listened to all of Simeon's stories, and asked for more to tell. But shortly after his second month, the stars got dreadful news. Nahari was drafted into the army. To Vietnam stepped his boots. Another two months went by, with Simeon winding down. His stint of research on reservation. He soon would leave this town. But then the stars received a letter. That caused them all to cry. For in the war with Vietnam. Nahari was shot and died. Simeon stayed for a few days. To help console his friends. Then one day Itsa Chu Star took Simeon. Out to the reservation's end. My daughter is my lone heir now. And I am increasing in age. She is very fond of you, Simeon. And it would not be a disgrace. If you were simply to marry her, I would give you a place to stay. Please consider this option my son. Please consider and pray. It only took a single night for Simeon to decide. He married Rayan the next day. Itsa Chu was full of pride. Then this story brings us to ten months after that. When Rayan gave birth to their son, Jengo. And this is Jengo's life track. Jengo grew up as a normal boy. As reservation kids go. But he took a special liking to computers. In the early days when they were slow. He grew up and went to college. For computer science and more. He studied in England at Oxford. And his grades earned him encores. Then one day he met a girl. Ariel Meadowlark by name. She was excellent in history and literature. Totally not his game. They tutored each other and soon became more than simply just friends. They met and married within four months. They were a perfect blend. They soon found out with DNA testing. Their blood held near every race. Celtic, Germanic and Asian, with Ariel. And a whole lot more in that space. Jengo held many a darker race. Like African, Indian and more. Like Arab and Hispanic, and Polynesian. Listing them all was a chore. Then within their first two years, they had a baby boy. Raiden Nahu L. Silversmith was to them, their pride and joy. When Braden was only three years old, Jengo and Ariel were asked to go on a missions trip with their church. And so they took Braden back to his grandparents in Fort Apache to watch him while they went. But little did three-year-old Braden know. His time with his parents was spent over the Bermuda Triangle. 
his parents' plane disappeared. Raiden was left to be raised by his grandparents. But in wisdom he was reared. Simeon taught Braden to love folklore. He told him many tales. Of knights and vikings, and samurai. Of monsters and dragons' scales. But once again when Braden was eleven. A plane met with disaster. As it crashed into the World Trade Center. And made him grow up faster. But while all the world was crashing down. Around the USA. Braden and his grandmother were in Fort Apache. Watching Simeon decay. Cancer was taking him faster than they knew. And before they reached the twelfth. Simeon died in a hospital bed. With no way left to help. Rayan comforted Braden a while. But then they had to move on. She got a job teaching in LA. So to California they were drawn. She raised Braden alone for nine years. Maintaining love in their hearts. She raised Braden to be a warrior. And this is where our story truly starts. Author's note. I have begun using text-to-speech in order to expedite the process of putting my stories into a form that I myself can enjoy and easily share with friends. This audio will be available in podcast form and on my YouTube channel. My more premium version of these stories will be animated comics that I am continuing to search for a distribution model for. If you'd like to support, I'd appreciate your prayers, and if you can, would appreciate your support in going to joshuadavidling.com and dropping a donation to help with production. God bless you and all his story warriors.